Hello, and welcome to my craft room. I'm Donna, also known as Gabbing Grammy. And in solidarity with my girl, Llama Mama Kayla, I'm going to film today without my teeth. I love you, go. <laughs> anyway, um, I found that pink shawl I was talking about last time. And, uh, it's Happy Crafty Homemaker Half Circle Eyelet Shawl. Eyelet was the word I was looking for the other week, and I was just, I was so tired after rearranging my craft room. I just couldn't even think. I have done more in it, although you may not be able to tell, but I have. And I have one more shawl done. This is just a triangle shawl. And I absolutely loved working with this yarn. I see I have to weave in a tail, so I'm going to put that over there. Now to show you the blankets, baby blankets mostly, I've been working on. I don't know if this is big enough. I have one more skein of this. I'm thinking about putting that other skein in here and just make it a really big baby blanket, if not a toddler blanket. And I also have another skein of this yarn that I can use. They're, it's a big, this is one skein. I have another one. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and the other skein in there and then this is out of that yarn that was gifted to me both of those and this one as well I really like this one it's a corner to corner this is three skeins this was one skein the blue was another skein and then the other side one with a skein to close it off. I really like this blanket. And this was also like a, a, a thin blue, blue clay yarn. And then I have this. I'm thinking I've got some, uh, this isn't big enough for much of nothing unless it was a uh, like a car seat throw that you put uh, over a car seat or maybe over a carrier. But I'm thinking if I can find some of my uh, homespun, see if I can find something to match with that. And then there's this blanket. I haven't woven my in on this one either. That's the width of it. And then it's it's pretty long. The length of it. I need to go ahead and leave this out <laughs> so I can weave in those ends. I thought I had them already weaved in. And by the way, this hat is a vintage pattern and it was uh, shown by Jada and Stitches on her last live, which was just yesterday, I think. It was Monday. And then this is the same basic yarn that the baby blanket was in, only this is another corner to corner, and it's fairly long, so I think this would almost be a, a regular blanket, if not a toddler blanket. Uh, either a toddler blanket or a throw. 
I don't know what it's going to be used as. I'm just going to donate it. Unless when someone comes up and claims it. And something I haven't showed is something I made, which sits here on my desk. Put my crochet books and on my little doodads. It got hooked. onto that blanket because I wasn't paying close enough attention. And then out of that real pretty yarn, I made another throw. Out of that yarn. And it this this yarn is really super duper soft. I just love it. And I'm tempted to keep it in here with me. When I get a little chilly, but I will probably donate it. I think it could almost be a shawl, and uh, I'm going to see if I can donate it to one of the oncology wards. And then last but not least is a blanket I made. I don't know if someone in the family is going to want this or not. I have to wait and see what they think. But it's a it's it's a full size blanket. It's got that's the blue and then blue down here on the end. This right here isn't as soft as this. This is super duper soft. So I'm going to try washing it to see if that'll soften up. And if the person I'm thinking of doesn't want this, it will be donated. Oh. And that's all I've finished that I have in here. I might have something else somewhere. Oh yeah, I do. With that soft and pretty yarn, I made a, a Llama Mama crossbody bag. I haven't put a button on it yet, but this one's a good size. I'm thinking my granddaughter, the oldest one, may claim this and if she wants it she'll get it well anywho i think that's it for now i'm going to sew in some ends and then i'm going to uh get working on some other things uh, I do plan on this week starting my uh, putting together the squares on my grandson's blanket. I rearranged them because I'm tired of making squares for that thing. I'm not enjoying making the animal squares. It's just too fiddly to having to sew stuff on. So I'm going to go ahead and put those squares together and then I'm going to make a big old border around it. Uh, once I get them sewed to get together, I'll show you, and then uh, even if I don't have the border on it, I'll go ahead and show it, and there may be a week where I don't make a video coming up because uh, I'm not going to have much to show unless I make a bunch of hats, which I, I know I've got at least one of these on the hook now. And I've got some squares made I might be able to show. But if I, you don't see me next week, don't worry. Just wait one more week and I'll show you some stuff. Well, until next time, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And take care of yourselves. Love one another. Bye.